Hello everyone and welcome to this video where I want to talk about the inventory and the equipment that we use for completing the missions around Sawyer Islands, things that help us. Everyone knows the fire extinguisher, the first aid kit, the ropes, the hoses, all that stuff. So I was thinking about what would be useful for completing the tasks around Sawyer Islands and I came up with a list of five new items. I'm going to share them to you and in addition to my five items, I want to hear what you guys think is useful and some other ideas that you may have for what would be really cool for the developers to implement and for us to use as we go about our missions. So without further ado, let's begin. My first idea comes from the RC car tutorial that I created. So I have this little buckle rodeo RC car. And as you can see here, if I turn this on, I can control it. But what I was thinking about is the actual controller. Now, I do know that there are people that say, including Mr. NJ himself, was saying that it would have been cool if we can adjust the controls on this remote control, just because currently now there's always a little bit of a delay when it comes to the abilities of the remote control, because we cannot set sensitivity, we cannot make it a push button, it has to be a toggle button, that sort of thing. So that is obviously I'd call a fix to the existing remote controller but what I would recommend would be a really cool addition of course in addition to this existing remote control unit would be a laptop or a remote control that has a display so one or the other my idea is a laptop I just put a laptop out here for you for visual purposes but of course you would pretty much hold it in your hand just like this and let's say it would look like that. So it would, it would be the remote control with the display on the end and that would be good for flying drones, helicopters, planes. So for example in the case of our remote control car you'd be able to do just like this. So you'd use your remote but it would also have a video channel right into it. So currently our setup that we have in this table is that everything is actually being broadcast to channel 1. So if we go here our constant number is one, and we're using the frequency of this microcontroller is channel one. So the um, video receiving or video sending unit, video transmitting unit, is on the same frequency as the composite that is going to this little remote antenna, which is in essence going to our handheld remote controller. So when I say a laptop or a remote control with a screen that's exactly what I mean so imagine piloting an ROV or flying a missile or whatever the case may be using something that has a built-in display to transmit the video that you are or receive the video that your creation is transmitting that would open up remote vehicles to a whole new level with flying things and all sorts of stuff so my first idea would be to add a laptop or a remote controller with a display now how it work you'd be able to pick it up it would be in a three uh three slotted inventory slot and in essence so just what we have here like if we type in inventory or equipment and just a empty or large slot so the laptop would fit in here it would not be usable in the uh, actual case like what I showed here is an example, it would just be handheld. So they already have most of these capabilities in the game. Of course, if they want to go the extra mile and make it a unit that can be mounted, maybe there's going to be, maybe you could store a laptop in this guy, but also then on certain desks, we can actually install a laptop dock, let's call it. And it would just look like this, whatever and your laptop could be docked to it and then you could actually set it down it can be charging and you could sit on a chair and use it as if it was a chair that'd be really cool that'd add a whole new level because now you'd be able to take your controller with you or use it in the desk that it's sitting on my next idea would be a tranquilizer gun so currently we have a bunch of weapons in the game including a harpoon gun which is intended for underwater shooting and all sorts of stuff but we do not have any less than lethal options 
So what I would love is a tranquilizer gun for animals. Because now there's these cool missions with polar bears where they're attacking the survivors and all sorts of stuff. So it would be just a simple dart gun. You pick it up like this, it has a single shot, boom. And then you have to replenish it with another tranquilizer dart. But the idea is that it would incapacitate an animal. So you don't have to kill the animal that's attacking the people. You can just, from a helicopter, shoot with a tranquilizer dart. Maybe two darts if it's a larger animal. Like, I don't know how that... They'd have to add some sort of, like, secondary health system. Or, like, a secondary, uh... Sort of scale next to the health. Where, if you incapacitate it, it just passes out and comes back to life in... Whatever. 15 seconds, 30 seconds, a minute. Doesn't really matter. Point is, you'd be able to handle less than lethal situations with animals and the best part is it opens a whole new array of things that you can do with the animals missions with animals which i am going to make another video explaining what sort of missions that i have in mind um rescuing animals you know taking them to zoos to vets whatever so a dart gun is the basis of any missions that include saving wildlife the next item that I have on my equipment inventory idea list is a body slash heat sensing lens or camera. So we do have binoculars where they could zoom in. That's great. We have night vision binoculars. If it's nighttime, it pretty much illuminates the area. So they're night vision goggles. But what would be really cool, and this is inspired by Call of Duty and things like that, where there's a... Uh, where there is body heat seeking or heat sensing lenses so you'd have binoculars that would be able to detect heat so people in the game would appear as red the ambient temperature is would be black or a, diff a darker color yellow whatever depending on certain items now the cool thing about this game is we already do have sort of a temperature range that exists in the game and they would just have to then add certain temperature to the human bodies or animals in this game. And then the rest would come from the ambient temperature, which you already see here, or the heat of machines. So like your car or ship has the heat increase because of the engine. So the, the system is already built into the game for allowing this sort of thermal vision or thermal glasses and you'd be able to then much easier detect um, survivors in the water, especially if they're still alive. They'd be red in your display versus things that are not alive would be a darker color. Um, maybe it would make it too easy, but I presume that they'd be a pricey item and that they would be a specialty item. Now, the cool thing about them is you'd also be able to have a camera that you could put in your ships or airplanes or whatever that is also thermal and thermal sensing. So then it could pick up on thermal signatures and display that vision to you. So I think that'd be a neat little feature to add, especially since we already have these night vision binoculars. Now, this idea is actually my favorite idea out of all of them. And it is to have a safety harness that you can put on and move up and down ropes. So if you see this system we have, there's a rope suspended from this uh, part of the rig that you see in front of you. And in essence, what you cannot do is grab onto this rope. The rope is just flimsy. You can grab onto the ladders behind, but you cannot grab onto the rope to climb up. So what would be really neat is you put on a harness we'll use this as an example so you're putting you put on this and now this safety harness allows you to attach yourself to this cable and you pretty much can scale it up or down so it becomes like ladders in the sense that you can use them to go up or down but instead of being a, t a permanent bit fix or build on your creation you, you serve it serve it serves and is a temporary sort of solution like this now also what i would imagine this harness would do is if you do detach this and say you're holding something like this when you're wearing the harness you can actually press a button and it will start to scale up this in essence 
it acts like a winch without it being a winch because you're climbing it. So maybe it would be like number one or two on the keyboard or maybe even the arrow key up or down. And I, if I press, if, I, if I'm holding this thing and pressing arrow key up, in essence, it pulls me up this cable. So that's what the chest rig or safety harness would do. But I just imagine this would add so much to the game because now not only would pirate ships where you scale up like uh, cables and ropes, but also practical solutions where if you're in a helicopter, all you need to do is wear the safety harness and then you could attach yourself to a rope and lower yourself onto a ship without having to use the actual built-in chest, um, the built-in harness that the game has and depends on it being actually physically connected permanently this way. It's much easier. You just come up, click, and go up you go. So this is my favorite idea. I know it would take a little bit of rework, especially with the physics of the cable, and especially with um, certain items, but I think that it would be so useful to just be able to do something with the cable system where you can actually interact with, interact with your person and scale up and down it. Now, obviously, if it's in a vertical position or if it's in a horizontal position, meaning not up and down, if it's lying across like this, it would be different, but technically not no different. You'd grasp onto it and be able to pull yourself up. Imagine you're laying on the ground and yanking yourself on a cable. You technically will move. You may get rug burn, but you'll move. So that is my safety harness idea. My last idea will use the C4 detonator as an example. But all it would be is a single button remote. So imagine this remote that I'm holding right now, where you can press one, two, three, you can press WASD, all this stuff. But instead of making it so complex, all that this single button remote would have is if you press B, it cycles the channels. So that are, the game already has this. We have this guy having channels or frequency. So you press B, it'll cycle the frequency. And all you do is you press the mouse button. So what I'm pressing now, and it activates, call it channel one, toggle on, toggle off, or even it'd be a push button. So I'm okay with either, but I think that the ability to have just a very simple style remote with one singular button, especially if it's a push button, and especially if they don't change the existing remote controller to have push buttons, because all of these are toggle, so this one would have a single push button and I could just see it being so useful for not only firing missiles and doing weapons things, but opening a garage door, for example, this thing would be able to press and you'd open a garage door or you'd press and it would activate some sort of alarm system or security measure or lock all doors, you know, so it just a singular, simple one button remote that you can also run because now when you run with this thing, you run much slower, but here you can run faster. You kind of just press it as you go. You don't have to stop, enable it, and all this stuff. I will leave you off with a little glimpse of an upcoming project and tell you that I appreciate you watching. Let me know in the comments what you think of these inventory ideas. If you have some own inventory ideas that you'd like to share. I can't wait to read them and stay tuned for more content, more creations, all that good stuff. And as always, happy storm everyone.